Hi, this is Mark from Learn How to Garden and this is the fifth of our films about winter brassicas. And we've now come on to broccoli. Broccoli is probably the one that I would say plant last. Um, it takes up quite a lot of room. Um, in this bed, it's a four foot bed, you're only going to get three across. You know, it, it needs space, it's a big plant. Um, but it is worth growing, you know, it gives you wonderful succulent spears and again, great stir fried with a bit of garlic, bit of oil, uh, at that time of the winter when a lot of things aren't coming through. So of the ones we've got it requires the biggest space and we've got two types of broccoli. We've got the purple sprouting and then we have Romanesco. Romanesco is what I would say you should plant. You can plant it slightly closer together. I normally plant mine um, at about 35-40 centimetres apart. Um, it gives you a beautiful lime green head. Uh, will come before Christmas much much sort of um, much sweeter. The variety I use is called Navona which is quite interesting. I've got a friend who has a daughter called Navona uh, and on my favourite white lily is also called Navona. I suspect of the two she'd prefer to be named after the lily than the uh, broccoli. Well who knows she might be a foodie and think the broccoli is a better idea but I digress. So the same as before we're going to make a small planting hole Take our plug, pop him in, backfill, firm down. And as I've said before, everybody says these have to be planted in really firm soil. I found they do perfectly okay on a deep bed, really okay on a no dig bed. Um, in fact, in some ways, really, really well on a no dig bed, especially the cabbages, as we said before. So three across the bed, and then probably just about a foot between or a spork between them. So we'll put them across. As we've said, always try and plant in that sort of brick pattern when you're working in one of your beds. It's much, much easier. Very quickly, we've got a little block of nine in. Again, as we've said, if you're planting it in a bed in your garden, try and keep it towards one end of the bed. It's going to stay in for quite a long time. It means you can cultivate the rest of the bed during the winter. Um, and as I said right at the beginning, if you can follow peas and beans, which these are following broad beans, it's brilliant. The beans have actually, the nodules have held nitrogen into the soil and these are quite greedy feeders. What we're going to do now is just water them in with a um, watering can with some seaweed feed in it. The seaweed really will get the roots zapping away and uh, these will, you know, be tasting really good from Christmas through till about March time. So if we do a quick recap, you know, that's got our kales, our cabbage, our broccoli, Romanesco, Brussels. Big five for the winter. You know, it's my personal order of why I put certain ones in before others. You know, if you love broccoli and hate kale, please don't grow this, grow kale, you know, but that's why I think they should go in in that order. I hope that's some help. That's our little mini series on winter greens. Get some in now. Get down to your local nursery or garden centre. Even your farmer's market probably still have some and pop them in. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this quick series of five and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.